we're gonna do questions with my lovely friend who talked so long that it didn't save last time. <clears throat> Cameron, who was your very first crush? My very first crush? Yeah. Uh, I know who that is. Mine was Michael Ely. He was like so fine. Deeper, but not like the crazy girls. Like I wouldn't have ran up on him. Y'all were crazy. Um, what's the best compliment you ever received? Somebody wanted an autograph and they thought I was going to be Um, <laughs> it was, it was, it was, all right. If you're, okay, if you're mixed or black, this, this will apply to you. But like, it was like an older black lady saying that they were proud of me. Because they seem like me grow up. And I, but, like, I was just, like, uh, I felt so, like, accomplished. What do you consider your best physical feature? My stature. It's your eyebrows. My eyes. And my hair. Does my hair count as a bit? Whatever. It needs to stress you out. Uh, I would say uh, the top two things that stress me out: mm -hmm. uh, rent, even though I can pay it, uh, taxes, which is stupid, and um, you. Wow, um, for me, it's driving. Baltimore gangsters, and. Actually, I'm changing my answers. Uh, people who believe in astrology, you guys are just irritating. Um, um, flat earthers, you got, oh my God. Mm -hmm. I can't, yeah. and um, um, currently Joe Biden. That's still my answer. You know how I feel about Joe Biden. <laughs> he, he, he supports Joe Biden. I do not. Um, I did not say that. I've been a lot of them. What's the last time you were jealous and why? Jealous. Mm -hmm. I hate that word. Um, mm -hmm. I hate that word. Yeah. Because I don't feel jealous. Um, I'm more envy, if anything. Like, I would, like, if I see somebody with, like, a... Like, say anyone who's like, like if let's say they got their lights straight, they got like their nice car, nice house, beautiful family. That's kind of what I aspire to have, and you know, so it's more of like I would want to have that in the future. Where I, I like, I'm jealous. Like, I don't want that person to have that. No, I want everybody to be happy. It's just I would like to have that myself. So something like that. I'm jealous you know, of people like... who have section eight. What's it feel like to live my dream, paying thirty six cents for rent? I am jealous. Mm -hmm. I, I said lived it. that dream for a while. And I don't, don't want to talk about that. I feel like it's not right. It's not fair. It <laughs> upsets me. Do you believe in monogamy? Mm. What? Mm. Do you believe in monogamy? Do I believe in monogamy? Mm -hmm. What's with that? Is that? Is that what you people are in a relationship? Yeah. Yeah, I don't believe in that. Okay, yeah, I believe in monogamy, but I think that I don't care what others do. I believe in monogamy. Yeah, I don't care. Do what you want, but you know, stay away from me. I'm, I'm a one person kind of guy. I'm not. I'm not asking that question. When's the last time you felt inspired to create something? Um. Well, I, I guess when we talk about our YouTube channels, I usually get inspired to want to start making content. Um, I watched a very old cover video and it made me inspired to like write songs again. I haven't wrote songs in a long time, so that's what made me happy. How do your parents meet? Uh, I don't know. You know the same I don't know when they were like 10 years old. They were being... Okay, no. My parents met at KFC. I think. It was some type of store. I don't know. They were trifling. It should have never happened. I mean, shout out to me and all, but like... <laughs> th those two. Mm -mm -mm. 
I didn't approve. Or at least who I think is my biological mother. I don't know. <laughs> you didn't even catch that, but okay. I did. Yeah, we don't know. Who's being your favorite teacher? That is so hard for me. Mm. Well, my favorite <gasps> teacher is actually someone from my military school. Uh, he was my history teacher. And let me tell you something. He was the funniest guy. Like, he made you want to know what was going on. Like, if he was my teacher in any subject, I probably would be a genius. Well, more than I already am. But, like, yeah, he was, like, the way he... Yes. It's, it, it takes that... He fully cares. Like, if you got to care, and he has charisma... And, I don't know, you just came in with energy you wanted to listen to a speak, so. Mm -hmm. Shout out to you, Mr. Barlow. Love My you. favorite teachers were Miss Brown, may she rest in peace, and... Miss Br Brown tortured us. And Miss Kennedy. Stop cutting thing. in in my damn answer thing. And Miss Kennedy, Jesus. I feel like that guy in that video because I ran out. Like, let me speak. Jing. Um, did you say Miss Brown? That's what I was asking you. Yeah, I did say Miss Brown. <laughs> you cut in my answer and it really was She tortured us. What are you talking okay. No, okay. I'm on my MacBook, so the lighting's weird. Um, it was Miss Brown. May she rest in peace. She was crazy. Okay. I love her. She was like everyone's auntie. She th she she shot staples at us. We wouldn't be quiet. That lady was crazy, but it felt like home. That sounds like and abuse. That is sounds know. abuse. Maybe I have Stockholm <laughs> syndrome. I don't know. I love that lady, um, and Miss Kennedy, who was a lot like that lady. She, she was she was like a um. She was a lady from Kentucky, I think, and she was so country. It felt like home, and I was in Baltimore, obviously. So I loved her. Um. She took a pay cut to have that job, by the way. She used to be a principal, and then she came in and was, like, a high school teacher. I think for her son's, like, football career, which was really great. I hope he made it. I don't know, because I didn't keep up with them. What's the most loved you've ever felt? I'm going to answer first. By my dad, because he loves me. But is this supposed to ask you when or who basically the most loved? I don't know, but he did it. Oh man, I was gonna say I'm his child. Who will love you more I than your parent? I don't know. Uh, what is the time I felt the most loved? Like when? I don't know. I was deprived. Um, and so I don't know. But I guess it was generally with my family. What's something you'd consider unforgivable? I'm a go because I already know my answer. Yeah. It's a lot of things, but the first thing that comes to mind, if I ever had a child and someone even remotely hurt that child, cut. I will never speak to them again. They will for, they will be like, does she even exist? Because I'm not allowing my kid to get oh, hurt oh, by an adult. Stop cutting me off. Stop cutting me off. Jesus. Stop cutting me off. Stop cutting me off. You like cutting people off. <laughs> 